summoning fiends is risky business. They do not have your best interest at hand and will betray you at first chance. Still, there is a process to summoning them safely, and if you are successful, they can help in battle or running errands. The wizard class is what you'll want if you wish to summon fiends from the lower planes, although warlocks and clerics have some power there as well. But wizardry is the most robust of the classes when it comes to controlling and summoning fiends. There are three types of fiends, devils, demons, and yugoloths, each come from a different lower plane, the Nine Hells, the Abyss, and Hades, respectively. Devils and demons hate one another, constantly fighting in the blood war that's been raging for what seems like forever. Any experienced spellcaster can summon one of these creatures using the spells Summon Demon or Infernal Calling, but that's too dangerous. A free-willed devil or demon running about ready to attack the conjurer isn't helpful. For example, if you summon a demon, it makes a charisma saving throw at the end of each of its turns to shake off your control. Potentially useful, but we'll want to exert more control over our summoned fiends. You'll want to bind the creature to your will, ensure it follows orders. True names can help in controlling a fiend. Everything in the multiverse has a true name, except perhaps the gods themselves. Knowing a creature's true name gives you power over it. In the case of fiends, it aids in summoning the correct one and gives disadvantage on its spell check to break free from your control. Learning true names is an arduous process. You must perform research, consulting libraries and sages all across Faerun, especially if you're searching for a particular fiend. Spells like Legend Lore can assist the wizard in this process, but it usually requires 2d12 months to discover a true name. However, if the DM wishes it, an entire campaign arc could be spent discovering the true name of a fiend. The useful thing about true names is you'll be summoning the same devil or demon each time, and not one at random. Let's start with devils. Their lawful nature makes them a bit easier to control, but don't be fooled. They will manipulate the situation towards an evil end if there is a sliver of possibility. You'll need to utilize the 5th level spell Infernal Calling, which requires a ruby worth at least 999 gold pieces. The casting takes a minute and summons a devil within range. Each of your turns after summoning the creature, you can attempt to issue verbal commands to it. The devil will comply if it's something the devil would do naturally, or a command that would bring the caster closer to evil. Otherwise, you'll need to make a charisma check contested by the devil's wisdom. You make the check with advantage if you know the devil's true name. Succeed, and the devil will carry out your instructions until it completes the activity. Demons are slightly different, the more chaotic and can't necessarily be reasoned with using persuasion checks like a devil can. You must exercise your force of will over the creature. The spells Summon Lesser Demon or Summon Greater Demon will bring you a creature from the abyss to the prime material plane. The demon will initially listen to you and do what you request, but each round it makes a charisma saving throw, and if it breaks free of your control, be wary. The demon is chaotic and will attack the nearest non-demons to the best of its ability. Removing concentration on the spell, the demon disappears back to the abyss after 1d6 rounds. If you know the demon's true name, it has disadvantage on the charisma saving throw versus your spell save DC. If you want a more constant companion, there is always the Warlocked Pact of the Chain route, which provides you an imp familiar to watch over you on your adventures. If you desire a stronger ally, there is a process to bind a larger fiend into your service. First, create an inverted magic circle to summon a demon into. This will keep them from attacking you while you cast other spells on the creature. The creature can't willingly leave the circle and won't be able to attack you. You'll want to upcast this so the circle lasts longer than an hour because our next spell takes one hour to cast. Planner Binding can bring the demon under your control for 24 hours. Once under your control, you'll need to request that the demon create a demonic amulet for you. A demon that stores part of its essence in an amulet can avoid being destroyed if killed on the abyss, but anyone who holds such an item can command the demon to do as they wish. With such an item, you can command the demon to do exactly what you want while it remains on the prime material plane. The item doesn't have to be an amulet, it must simply be bound into an object, perhaps a gem, a ring, or even a weapon would be more suited to you. Devil talismans also exist, but these are ancient relics inscribed with the true name of the devil it controls. They were bathed in blood of worthy sacrifices and are quite evil relics. The knowledge of creating this might lie with the devil himself, and using the same planner binding method, you may be able to convince a devil to tell you the process. If you obtain a devil talisman, you have control over a particular devil. Finally, if you want a more constant demonic companion, you need to summon your fiend using their true name, the demonic amulet or devil talisman, 
and the Gate spell. Other lower level spells like Summon Demon or Infernal Calling only keep the Fiend for a limited amount of time. Using the Gate spell, you conjure a portal and using the true name can pull your Fiend into the Prime Material Plane and they'll reside with you permanently until killed, upon which they return to their home plane and await to be summoned again. Remember, these artifacts that aid you in controlling your fiend are evil. They can cause terrible nightmares and influence your behavior. Don't be surprised if your alignment starts to shift towards evil or chaotic the more you wear them. Don't get possessed by your demon, and remember they are magically bound to you, but that doesn't mean they won't kill you if given a chance.